I'm Neil Campbell, this is Casper, and this is Chillax. In 1970 I got my first board, I was seven years old. I grew up surfing the beaches of Sydney and Queensland's Gold Coast. As a kid, I never believed that the ocean was some sort of catch-free frolic zone. I knew there were horrors lurking out there. So I used to rub all sorts of stuff on myself, and the private understanding that maybe I wouldn't smell like shark food, denker rub, tea tree, even tiger bark. Being attacked by a shark is the last thing any surfer will admit to worrying about when he hits the water. People are killed and in a knee-jerk reaction, sharks are often senselessly slaughtered. Now surfers don't want this. Year after year, enough people are killed or attacked by sharks, whether they're surfers, swimmers, divers and scuba divers. You know, all the horror stories upset me. The one that's particularly close to my heart is the story of Zach Young. Zach was 19 when he bled to death in the arms of his friends following a shark attack north of Coffs Harbour in 2013. And it was this story in particular that motivated me to do something, to come up with a solution, a strategy, some way of protecting young surfers like Zach and surfers like myself too. You know, between 1958 and 2014, there were 665 attacks in Australia, and 232 of those were fatal. We are world champions at death by shark. It's time we did something to take ourselves off the menu. Maybe this is the strategy we need. Maybe Chillax is the answer. So I got to work, studying the shark, studying his anatomical and sensory motivation. What I believe I've found is that he's an olfactory predator. Together with taste, they are the primary sensory motivation that he has in obtaining prey, obtaining energy. So yes, I got into the wax as well. And I found every combination that I could find of essential oils and spices that had some record of deterrence or protection or repellents across a range of species, and they're in here. Not only did I want to make a wax that was organic and free of petrochemical byproducts, I wanted to make a wax that could potentially look after surfers everywhere. That's what I think I've done. Chillax is already gaining a small cult following with surfers like Justin Lambeau. Justin's a seasoned surfer from New South Wales, Nine Mile Beach. He'd applied Chillax one day and the following day he went out again and was circled by a great white. Justin believes that it was the residual presence of Chillax that prevented the shark's further investigation. He has endorsed the product without reservation. What we really need now to get Chillax off the ground and onto the boards of surfers everywhere is conclusive scientific research and testing. We need to assess the efficacy of Chillax and its ability to deter the investigation of sharks. For this, we've got Professor Charlie Hoovenears. He's the lead researcher with the Southern Shark Ecology Group and Andrew Fox from Rodney Fox Shark Tours. This product, could change the face of surfing. It could change the relationship between humans and sharks. We're asking you to join us, to pledge, support and share. Pledge by investing in the brand. Support, try it, buy it, try it yourself. And share, tell your mates, become a brand ambassador. Together, we can work towards a better way for surfers and sharks. Thanks for your time.